Hey, Hillary Hendershot here with another Money Minute video. I'm not the only one in this video though. Princess Leia, my kitty cat, decided to make a guest appearance. So she's back there in the background. She's really financially intelligent, so she's gonna bring a lot of good smarts to the video. Today I'm here with a question from one of my readers, Katie, and it's a great question. I'm gonna read it to you. Hillary, I'm in a Roth IRA versus a traditional IRA conundrum. I don't have a 401k with work. So do I take the tax benefit now and do a traditional IRA or do I do a Roth? I like what the Roth can do for me in the long term, but the traditional IRA gives me the chance to have a tax deduction now. Any recommendations? Great question, Katie, and I do have a recommendation. So the difference between the Roth IRA and the traditional IRA is that for the Roth, you pay tax on the money before it gets contributed, and then what's left over gets contributed, that amount grows, and in retirement, after age 59 and a half, you can withdraw from that account, but you don't pay tax on the distributions or the withdrawals. The traditional IRA is exactly the opposite. So you put money in pre-tax, just like your 401k, the, the, that money grows and compounds, and then when you're in retirement, again, after age 59 and a half, you take money out, um, but you do owe income tax on the entire amount of the withdrawal, or what we call distribution. So my answer, Katie, is that I recommend you don't make that choice based on your taxes now. I think as a taxpayer, the truth is we don't know where tax rates are gonna be in our retirement. Remember that in this country, the top marginal tax rates have fluctuated up to 40%. So while the common consensus is that tax rates are going up, the truth is nobody knows the future and economics has a way of surprising us. So personally, I save about 50-50 in a Roth and a traditional IRA, so I recommend that you have a mix of both. If you're like most people, you have a lot of money in a 401k or a 403b from the past because that's often what your employer provides as a way to save. And so you might take this opportunity to stash some money away in a Roth. So I hope that helps. I'd love to hear your comments and questions in the comment box below.